What's up guys? Welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host of course, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a new update that was just released by Apple today, and not only that, but a ton more updates that I'm going to be covering here on the channel. So, as you can see, we have a new software update and you can see the update page that we have macOS Monterey 12 beta 4 at the time i'm recording this video it's available to developers only so for public beta testers perhaps the following day or two it should be out like we saw last time if we go to the more info tab here you can see the update size and it came in for me at 2.34 gigs and now let's install this update and see what are the changes that came on this update you can see that it took about you know six to seven minutes to be able to download and then the preparation again took about 15 minutes so that's how i got it on my mac here but obviously i want to let you know that the ipsw file is available however the full installer is not yet available i'm not sure when apple is going to make this available but at the time i'm recording this video it's not yet available and then also also, I want to show you some other updates that were released by Apple today. So this is the Apple developer website, as you can see here. So today, Apple released macOS Monterey Beta 4, iOS, as well as iPadOS 15 Beta 4, watchOS 8 Beta 4. I already did a video on this. Feel free to check it out. And also, Apple released tvOS 15 Beta 4, but that's not all. If we go to the applications that were released, you can see that today, July 27, 2021, Xcode 13 Beta 4 was also released today. So these are all the operating system as well as applications released today. And now let's go to see uh, the About This Mark section to see the new build number that came with this update. So if we go to the uh, here, you can see the new build number that we have, and it's 21 a 5294g now surprisingly this update has a g at the end and if you recall correctly what we had on mac os monterey 12 beta 3 we actually had the build number that ended with an e so in a sense this update took two steps in the negative or two steps backward and perhaps a reason for this is because this update actually has about 18 known issues that were reported and if we go to see the storage that's being taken up by this update and just manage you can see that it takes a moment to load mac os is taking 16.59 gigs it's a it's about 40 megabytes more than what it was taking on beta 3. now Let's go on to talk about the new features and changes that came with macOS 12 Monterey Beta 4. And the first one that I would like to highlight has to do with live text. So if you have any picture that has any text in the background, like for example, this is the warp, I mean the thumbnail for this video. You can see that this is a picture, right? I opened it using my uh, pictures that you can see here. These are some of the pictures that I have in my um, my mark here so if i open this picture you can see that i actually get my cursor turns into a selector and i can highlight this and once i highlight i can actually uh, look up i can translate mark uh, this text that i had selected i can search with ecosia i can copy share and also i have a ton of services where i can send to find out or show in terminal and so on so now this feature live text is available for all mac os 12 supported macs or devices and before mac os 12 beta 4 this was exclusively available to apple silicon m1 macs only but now if your mac supports mac os monterey 12 then it automatically has this new feature this is one of many pictures let's look for another picture with like some text for example this screenshot that i took of my iphone you can see that i can select the text here if it's an address of something that you want to search up you can also select it and be able to look it up so that is live text here and it's good to see that apple has brought it over to all macs that support mac os 12. now another thing that i would like to highlight that was initially mentioned and then uh, removed has to do with universal control so it was mentioned in the release notes and then it was removed and then here if we go to uh, the system preference and go to the display section here you can see how my layout is now this 
completely changed when i connected my benq external monitor but when i was using just my built-in retina display it was actually showing me like the mac os pixel wallpaper and also it had removed the display settings here i only had night shift so if this is something that you are seeing on your device then connect a secondary monitor you might be able to see what it's showing me here so that is a change it was mentioned that universal control will be here and supported but for some reason in the release notes apple ended up retracting that uh, statement when it comes to mac os Bonnerai beta 4 so that is also another change that's here with this update and now with this update also we get compact layout in safari so this is safari that i have open here and if we go to the preferences that you see here and let's just give it a moment to load wait oh actually it opened up on my primary um monitor so let's close that and i'll show you how you can get there go to your preferences and then go to tabs as you can see you now have tab layout and you can select separate so separate is what i have here you can see how my tabs are separated and then also if you want to select compact so you just go to your preferences and then you select compact and you notice that the tabs go uh, along this top line as you can see here if you have more tabs you see uh, more smaller tabs there but for me i think i like my tabs separate so i'll just select separate and i'll have bigger tabs on the bottom of everything here it, it just makes it easier to use and easier to see so if you want you can always select this compact but that's a change that's also with here with mac os 12 beta 4 and also there's an update when it comes to swift control of border buttons that have been added and also when you can when you select something and look up so let's look up uh, this uh, text that we have selected you can see that you have this uh, splash screen that here that tells you what's new with lookup and if you click continue you'll be able to um, see the results and in this case we didn't find anything but also, there's something else that um, has been updated with Safari. So more pages support read only. So this is AITravelCenter.com. And you can see that besides um, the little plus icon here, if I click here, you will notice that if I go there, the little icon comes up. And you can see that I can add this page to a reading list. And if I want to view a, a read only view, I can click there. And you can see that everything on the website has been put into a read only format if i want to disable it i can do that so more sites have been are now supported rather with this update and if you have a website that wasn't uh showing like this for example you can see that this apple developer page isn't showing because i guess it has so many links and isn't uh, available in a read only format but you can always check out some sites that were not supported now also there is a today section that i want to show you that has been updated i think this is something that was available on uh, beta 3 so let me open up the video and i saw this when i was doing the screen recording while updating so when you screen record or when you paste something on your desktop you have this tab that comes up here and you can see that from this tab it will show you everything underneath you can see that we have a small arrow that points underneath to show you uh, what has been put in today so this is something that you see if you paste something on your desktop or if you screen record and that uh, defaults to save to your desktop so that is something that you can also check out if you have the time for that but other than that these are all the new features and changes that are here with mac os 12 monterey um, beta 4 there is a number of issues that were mentioned so it has about four new features that were mentioned with this update and also there is 18 resolved issues and we also have 18 new issues that were reported as well as the beta 4 ipsw file that is now available no full installer yet and the intel t2 bridge os is available so that is what's here with mac os 12 monterey beta 4 i might do a follow-up video just to cover it so that, as i don't want to make this video a long one but other than that stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace